What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're talking about the new Acer laptops, the new flagships, the Acer Predator 16S, the Acer Predator 16 AI, and the Predator 18 AI. Uh, we've got all of these laptops for you to check out today. So let's take a quick little sneak. This is the Predator 16S. This is the Predator 16. Look at those design motifs. It looks really sick. I wonder if this is a full, if, if this is a full light up RGB bar, that would be pretty sweet. Um, and then we've got, of course, all these interesting designs. I wonder if these light up or if these are just designs on the chassis, probably just designs, I would think. I don't know. Um, very gamery aesthetic on the Predator 16 AI, for sure. Um, the 18 AI, similar design and chassis, similar motif along the components and everything. And uh, yeah, let's also take a look at their monitor. This is the new 5K 144 Hertz gaming monitor. Absolutely insane resolution. And it, can, it is a dual, uh, it is a dual resolution monitor. So it can go down to QHD 288 Hertz. So if you want to go 5K ultra high resolution, like even more than 4K, you can do that. And then you can cut the resolution in half and still have a great detailed native gaming resolution for 288 hertz refresh rate. So very interesting design choices. I'm guessing it's gonna be a very expensive monitor. Um, we've got detailed pictures today. Uh, detailed pictures, we've got detailed specs, and I think we even have some pricing and release information. I, don't, I haven't looked through the whole briefing. I'm at CES, it's the morning of CES. I just wanna make a quick video on these, and then I'm gonna be going into the CES show floor and videoing all of the new laptops in person. So. Uh, just making this one real quick, let's dive into all of the specs for this machine. I'm really excited, and these, these machines definitely are some of the, uh, the flagship models for Acer. So, Predator Helio 16, 18 AI, they support the Core Ultra 9, 275HX. So this is the new 24 core 32 thread uh, version, kind of like the new i9 14900K, the successor to that. Our, uh, and then we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5000 series GPUs, um, OLED and mini LED panels, swappable Meg Key 4.0 uh, mechanical switches, and 6th gen Aeroblade 3D fan technology. Um, and then we also have the Predator Helios Neo 16S. Okay, so the Neo 16S is kind of their new thinner, lighter laptop. Uh, that's this first one that we were looking at. This one is designed to be more of a competitor to, like, say, the Zephyrus G16. I, I imagine this will probably also have some lower power limits on it. Um, I don't think they speci specify the exact power limits of all of the machines here in this briefing, but we've got a lot of detail here, so let's go ahead and hop into the detailed specs. Let's start with the 16S, the Neo 16S. All right, so the Neo 16S has 16-inch OLED, 2560 by 1600, 240 hertz. All right, or you can get a 165 hertz, depending on which model you get. Both of them come with G-Sync. You get Core Ultra 7, 255HX, or Core Ultra 9, 275HX. Both very respectable processors. And then the only GPU option here is the RTX 5070 Ti, which I believe comes with 12 gigs of VRAM. So that's probably gonna be a very nice option for um, someone who wants to have something more portable. 2.3 kilograms, 76 watt hour battery. Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3. The system memory is up to 32 gigs of DDR5, 6400 mega transfers per second. So that should be very fast memory. Uh, and then we've got an IR camera for Windows Hello, I believe. So 1080p IR camera, two speakers, dual speaker system on here. Um, do we have a pricing? The Neo 16S will be available in North America in April, starting at $1699. So actually pretty reasonable pricing for a, a seemingly more premium machine with an OLED display. I hope that these prices and specs are correct because that looks insane. Uh, anyway, that's a pretty reasonable starting point, I think for a 5070 Ti with an OLED. I don't know exactly what specs that comes with because that that does, that. I mean, we need to actually see the full specs for the price. All right, so, okay. Predator Helio 16 AI is going to start at $2299. I'm guessing this is the lower end um, GPU, CPU, and RAM and all of that. And then the 18 AI is going to start at $3,000. Again, probably their lowest end specs they have listed here for $3,000. 
Um, and then it's going to go up from there. So, and both of these are going to be available in June for the 16 AI, May for the 18 AI, and April for the Neo 16 S. So April is the earliest starting date so far for these Predator uh, laptops. Let's talk Predator Helios 18 AI. We're looking at an 18 inch 4K mini LED 120 Hertz, 600 nits in SDR mode, HDR mode goes up to 1000 nits, DCI-P3 100%, Advanced Optimus, NVIDIA G-Sync. Now there's also gonna be a mini LED QHD option with 250 Hertz refresh rate. That's probably the one I would go with if I was buying this. But some people are going to want that 4K. That's understandable, okay? Uh, SDR, 600 nits. So, so similar brightness and similar other specs. G-Sync, Advanced Optimus, 100% DCI-P3 color gamut. Let's look at the processor. We're looking at the Core Ultra 9 275HX. This is not quite the top, top, top of the line. It's like the second best 285HX is going to be the top, top. But I imagine the performance difference will be very minimal between those two. Then we have the NVIDIA. GeForce RTX 5080 and 5090 in this thing, that's really good. Um, I think it's going to be, uh, those are obviously some very good GPUs um, to be able to just crank through games. And we'll have to see what the actual performance is like on these, but I imagine there are going to be some pretty nice performance bumps. I haven't got to take a detailed look at all of the differences in the CUDA cores and RAM and all that, but I'm pretty sure the, the VRAM leaks indicated the 5090 was going to get 24 gigs of VRAM and the 5080 is gonna get 16 gigs of VRAM this time around. So that's both of those. I really like that. the VRAM amounts on those. 3.2 kilograms, 99 watt hour battery, Wi-Fi 7 with Bluetooth 5.3, killer ethernet and dual Thunderbolt 5 type C ports. Nice, very nice. A lot of great features here on the Predator Helios 18i, making it a flagship 18 inch laptop uh, that's gonna be able to compete with the very best out there, I believe. Predator Helio 16 AI is going to have a QHD OLED 240 hertz 400 nits display. So it's going to be very similar to the Zephyrus G16 and the Blade 16 displays. The Core Ultra 9 is a processor of choice. You can get a 5090 or a 5070 Ti GPU in here. 64 gigs of DDR5 memory. And that was one thing that was interesting. Up to 192 gigs of DDR5 memory on the Predator Helios 18. This one only goes up to 64 gigs. I wonder if that's a single memory slot or if that's a dual memory slot. I don't know. Uh, it has PCI Gen 5 SSD support and so does the Predator Helios 18. I don't know why it says up to six terabytes. That it obviously can go, I already have 16 terabytes in my Blade 18 and that's a PCI Gen 4. So I don't know why they list up to 16, but maybe it, maybe it can come with that much when you order it, depending on what you want. Okay, so the... I want to point out also for the Predator Helios 18 and 16, we got 1080p infrared cameras and the Predator Helios 18, look at that, six speaker system. So hopefully the speakers on the Predator Helios 18 are amazing. And the Predator Helios 16 AI has four speakers. So again, hopefully above average speaker quality. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at some detailed pictures. Uh, before that, let's... Do they have more specs on the monitor? Yeah, so here's the monitor specs. 5120 by 2880 at 144 hertz. And then if you're going to do the dual refresh rate or dual, dual native resolution, you can go down to 2560 by 1440, 288 hertz. Very nice. 350 nits is the brightness rated, 1000 to one contrast ratio. So we're not looking at an OLED display. We're not looking at mini LED, but we are looking at a very high color gamut display, 95% um, DCI P3 color gamut and 100% sRGB. I'm very curious what the price is on this gonna be, but this is gonna be like a peer gaming monitor. I mean, you can use it for content creation too. 95% DCI P3 is still very, very good. Um, NVIDIA G-Sync as well on this monitor. So let's go and take a look at all of the pictures now. This is the Predator Helio 16 AI. And this one is going to have the Core Ultra 9 or 7. Right, so we're looking at the Core Ultra 9 275HX with a 5090 or 5070 Ti. 16 inch, and we're looking at 240 hertz OLED on this guy. So we got more RGB lights on the back. These look like they light up based on this image. I hope they do, but they might just be fancy. Uh, look at that, oh, the light strip wraps around the corner on this. That looks sick. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that looks really, really sick. Um, and then we got the 16, they've got the giant 16 on the back corner. You do still have the butt hanging out the back here on this, but I guess that's, uh, the little butt, that's how they get <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got a little punny in my head. Uh, okay, so 240 hertz OLED, Core Ultra 9, 275 HX, up to the 5090 in here. I wonder what the TDP is going to be like. It's going to be a good laptop almost for sure, I think. Very promising. All right, so here's the 18. Predator Helios 18. And it is a monster. I mean, it's going to be a huge laptop. Um, one of the biggest, you know, we're looking at that 4K 120 hertz display, Core Ultra 9, RTX 5090 or 5080. Um, some really cool RGB design motifs. I think they have really upgraded their RGB on this, at least in the photos. Let's see how they are in person. I should be able to get my hands on with these later this week. So be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the hands on um, of these. Okay, so then we have the Predator. Is this, no, this is still the Predator 18. This is still the 18 inch. It looks sick. I mean, the, the 18 and the 16 this year look really sick. Um, I think that they are going to be uh, potentially some of the best laptops on the market, especially given the design changes, making them look just way cooler than they were last year. All right, so here is the 16 Predator Helios Neo 16S, so the thinner, lighter, more portable version or a flagship for Acer. You can see it is quite thin. Um, and it's definitely going to be more portable than the other laptops in the lineup. But I don't think it's going to be super portable. I mean, it's still got the butt hanging out the back. I really wish they got rid of that on this one. Um, we get a number pad, which is quite nice for having a more portable laptop. That's rare in a portable focus laptop. Um, and uh, the touchpad looks huge, too. Looks like we got... Four zone RGB, not per key RGB on here as well. That's part of the probably how they're going to cut some costs. And overall, design motif is very similar to last year's Predator series. Uh, not as gamery. And that also probably cuts down on cost. Now here's also a picture of the Predator monitor. The 5K 144Hz dual native resolution with... QHD 288 Hz. So another potential monitor to pick up. Very curious about the pricing on this. I don't think we have pricing on it yet in here. They do not have anything pricing there. Do they have pricing here? They do not. Yeah, they do not have any pricing available. So again, pricing, we're looking at June, May, and April. And depending on the region you're in too, Australia might have a little bit different and Europe might have a little bit different uh, release date and pricing, and you can see all those pricings and release dates right here. Um, so that's a quick overview of the Predator laptops. I've got a bunch more content coming for you at CES here. So be sure to subscribe and hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Brandon out. Huzzah. Haha. <laughs>